Your people send you nice gifts. You, you spaz the fuck out on the court. <laughs> I mean, quit. You do it to yourself. Don't blame everybody else. I know. Then I mean, you got people that are good to you. Never been nothing but good to you. Maybe you act like a motherfucker, right? Well, you fuck around, you find out. Cardi, how many times do I got to do this to you, Connie, before you fucking get it? How many fucking times do I got to slap the fucking piss out of a grown-ass man before he says, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to leave her alone. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. There's lots of dumb motherfuckers like that out here. You're dumb. Just go sit down. Don't start that with me. Because I go and see it all the way through. I always do. Boxes and all. You can't say a word because you're blocked. Oh, Connie's crying. I'm going to start playing that song. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Connie's crying. There, sing that one, Connie. Well, get the dick out your ass and your mouth and stop blaming everybody else for your own doing. If you want to be mad at somebody for getting evicted, be mad at Ellen. The paperwork clearly says it was Ellen. Not sweet as sugar. Not huckleberry. It says Ellen. Because they verbally abused the rat. So now that we've got that straightened up, right? Is that all straightened out for everybody? Everybody's got a, a clear picture of what really is going on as opposed to what Connie's trying to simp for and sell to get donos. You ever seen a grown man cry so much about someone else getting a gift? Oh, that motherfucker. Hey, Huckleberry bought went through the microphone. I sure did. I keep my word. That's a bet. You should try it, Connie. I don't give a fuck who it is. My word's my word. Period. Dumb motherfucker. Wah! Always gotta be somebody. Eat a bag of dicks, Connie. Learn to stop fucking with Huckleberry before it's just one day I get irritated, I guess. And then I just fucking annihilate you. That's probably what's going to happen. I know. He's restreaming me. What happened to the last person that did that, sweet? What happened? I kept his uh, tab up just for the sole purpose of grabbing that link. So that I can strike him. <laughs> I ain't playing with him no more. I'll just strike him. You might want to be uh, surfing through his content right fucking now. For anything that has anything to do with Huckleberry. Because you can bet your ass I'm going to go through it. One, two, three, and you're out. He knows how this works. Poor Connie. See, this is what I'm talking about. He doesn't learn. So my next live stream, I'll show you his court paperwork. How about that? Connie! <laughs> All that paperwork that nobody got to see, I'll show it to you. I sure will. Fuck around and you find out, Connie. You think I'm playing? Call me bluff. I'll throw it up in a short. Robert Redman. Sweet. Isn't red man an insult to Native Americans? Not by Jack. Happy Hippie was so kind to point it out. Crazy. Peaceful people, yet he runs around spewing hate everywhere he goes and then tries to act like a good guy. Like he's a good guy and you guys are doing bad things and he just got to point him out. No, crazy. People see you tagging people, tagging people, tagging people. You go into chats and say the most awful shit. But you're a good guy? No, you're not. You're a fucking fool, Grandpa. Go sit down, Grandpa. Nobody gives a fuck about you, Bobby. Stop tagging me, you weirdo. I'm not interested in old men. 70-plus-year-old men. Go sit down. Grab your walker. 
scooted across your fucking piss poor, dirty, filthy ass fucking floor to get you an ego. How about that? I, I spend my time wherever way I want. Username. If you don't like it, how come you're here, dummy? Isn't that crazy? Oh, this bitch sounds so ratchet. This bitch sounds like that. that, that but there you are. <laughs> What's up, Mrs. Tater? Um, Preston got y'all's message, and he laughed at y'all, just so you know, Mrs. Tater. You got that was funny. I believe he said, I don't give a fuck about no first date. I ain't worried about her. She don't scare me. So I don't think there's going to be an adult conversation to be had. Like I didn't know that already. Now, he thinks it's a joke. You know, but then again, he thinks it's a joke to make fun of autistic children and continuously post it. Like people are going to think it's funny. And he's going to make lots of friends that way. No, dummy. No. It's cancel culture these days. What's worse is he claims to be a gay man, yet just annihilates the LGBTQ community. Make that make sense. 